Here we are going to solve this system of equations by using the Cranmer's rule. For using the Cranmer's rule, we must use uh, some matrices. So let's see what do we need. The first one, we are going to create a matrix called D, and this is how it works. So D is just like exactly what you see from the x, y, and z. We are going to take the coefficients of x, y, and z and put it into a matrix. So for the x, so for the first one, this is I like think one x. I'm not going to write down the x, but I will just write down the I will just write down the coefficient, which is the one. So I'll write down one. And then the second the second row, I will write down negative two. And then the third row, I will write down three. Okay, so this is kind of like my x column. This is like my x column. And then for my second column, I will just write down the coefficients of the y's. I have negative 3, positive 4, and negative 5. 3, 1, and 4 for the z column as well. Okay, so the x column, the y column, and the z column. So let's let me just write down the matrix first, and I'll show you guys what we're going to do with this matrix. So this is kind of like the coefficient matrix from the system of equations. And then next, I will create another matrix called the dx. Okay, called the dx. Well, how does that work? Let's take a look. So it's still going to be a three by three matrix, but what's different is that we are going to use these numbers instead. I'm going to look at negative 6, positive 3, and negative 9. So how am I going to use these numbers? I'm going to put these numbers into my x columns. Okay? Because I want to create a dx matrix, I'm going to use these numbers into my x column, which is the first column. I will write down negative 6, positive 3, and negative 9 on the x column. And then for the y's and the c columns, stays the same. So I have negative 3, 4, negative 5, and then the same for the z. 3, 1, 4 for the z. Okay? And let's see what we're going to do with all these matrix in a minute. And let me create the next one. I need to create a dy, okay, a matrix dy. So similar to this, for dy, I need to more, I need to um, replace these numbers to the y columns, and that's that's it. So I will first put negative six, three, and negative nine into my y column, which is my second column. Negative six, three, and negative nine into my y column, and then the original x column and the z columns stays the same. I will have one negative two. 3, the original x column, and then the original c column, 3, 1, 4. Okay, and then we are going to compute the determinant in a minute. For the last one, let's um, write down dc. So for dc, we are going to maintain the x and y columns. So let me just copy this down. 1, negative 2, and 3. And then the Y columns stays the same as well. Negative 3, 4, negative 5. And then I'm going to replace these numbers into my C columns. Negative 6, 3, and negative 9. So here are the four matrix that we need in order for us to use Cranmer's rule to solve this. And then what's next is we are going to compute the determinant of each matrix. Okay? And to compute a three by three determinant, three by three, uh, to compute the determinant of a three by three matrix, um, we'll use this method. I will first write down the first two columns. I will duplicate one, negative two, and three right here, and then negative three, four, and negative five right here. So I just kind of duplicate the first two columns, and then I'm going to do the following calculation. And I'm, what I'm going to do next is. I will look at the diagonals. So the first, what I'm going to do is 1 times 4 times uh, 4. I need to look at the product of the diagonal, the left to right diagonals. 
1 times 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Okay? And then I'm going to add with the product of the next right to left diagonal. So I'm looking at negative 3 times 1 times positive 3. So I'm going to add, well, the product of negative 3 times 1 times 3 is negative 9. So I'm going to add a negative, uh, negative 9. And then I'm going to add the product of the third left to right diagonals, 3 times negative 2 times 5. So 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, times, five, uh, times negative 5 is positive 30, so plus 30. Okay? And then what next? We are going to look at the right to left diagonals from here to here. From here to here. And then we are going to subtract. Okay? So I'm going to subtract the product of the right to left diagonals. I have negative 3 times negative 2, which is 6, times 4 is 24. So I'm subtracting 24. And then for next, I will have 1 times 4, I mean, sorry, 1 times 1 times negative 5. So 1 times 1 is 1, times negative 5 is just negative 5. But I'm subtracting a negative 5. It's always subtracting when I'm going from right to left. And then the last one, I am looking at 3 times 4, which is 12. 12 times 3. This diagonal gives us 36. The product of these diagonals gives us 36. I need to subtract 3 times 4 times 3, which is 36. Okay, And then what I need to do next is just add up all these numbers. And of course, we can use our calculator to help us to do the addition. So I'll use my calculator for this. So tell my calculators, I have 16 plus a negative 9, which is the same as saying negative, um, minus 9, and then plus 30, and then minus 24. And then minus a negative 5 means plus 5, and then minus 36 equals to negative 18. So the determinant of my D matrix, my matrix D, is equal to negative 18. Okay? And then we're just going to do the same for the dx, dy, and dz. So let's do that um, and let's finish that up. So for dx, it's a 3 by 3 matrix. We'll use the same procedure. We'll do the same procedure. I will first copy down negative 6, 3, and negative 9. And then negative 3, 4, and negative 5. And then I'm going to do the diagonals methods to find a uh, determinant. So first, uh, 6 times 4 times, no, times 4. So negative 6 times 4 times 4. Negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. And negative 24 times 4 it should be negative 96. Okay. And then next one, negative 3 times 1 times negative 9. So for the right to left diagonals, I'm always adding and then product of negative 3 times 1 times negative 9 is positive 27. And then I'm going to add the product of 3 times 3 which is 9 times negative 5 is negative 45. Okay? And then I'm going to subtract the right to left diagonals. So negative 3 times 3 is negative 9 times uh, 4 is negative 36. Oops, negative 36. And then the product of negative 6 times 1 times negative 5. That's a product of uh, positive 30, but I'm subtracting the product of that. So the product of negative, negative 6, 1, and negative 5 is 30. And lastly, I'm subtracting, let's put on subtraction first, the product of 3 times 4, which is 12, times negative 9 is a negative 108. So we'll be, we'll be, doing, uh, we'll be dealing with, with a lot of calculations. So it's a good idea to use our calculator to help us add or subtract. Okay. So first, I'm looking at negative 96 plus 27. And then plus a negative 45, which is the same as minus 45. And then minus a negative 36. So I'm adding a 36. 
minus 30 minus a negative one eight, uh, 108. So it's plus 108. That gives us 0. Okay, this gives us a 0. So our determinant of the matrix dx is equal to 0. And let me do that quickly for the next one. So I have 1, negative 2, and 3, and negative 6, 3, and negative 9. I just need to copy down the first two columns right here, and then I'm going to do the same method. So, um, let's do the right to left diagonals first. 1 times 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, And I'm going to add negative, negative 6 times 1 times 3, which is negative 18. And then I'm going to add 3 times negative 2 times um, negative 9. Well, that's uh, going to be positive. Well, positive um, 54, right? 3 times 2 is 6 times 9 is 54. And then negative times negative is positive. Okay, and then just keep going. For the right to left diagonals, I'm going to subtract. Negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12 times 4 is positive 48. So subtracting a positive 48. Put on the minus first. 1 times 1 times negative 9 is negative 9. Put a subtraction down first. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Okay? So these are the steps that you are expected to show um, the exams and all that. So 12 minus 18 plus 54 minus 48 minus a negative 9. So I'm just going to put that as plus 9 minus 27. And I have negative 18. Okay. And then for the next one, for DZ, let me copy down negative 1, negative 2. Sorry, positive 1, negative 2, and 3. And then negative 3, 4, and negative 5. And then do the cal uh, calculations right now. Alright. 1 times 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. And we are going to add. So let me put down the subtraction. Uh, let me put down addition first. Negative 3 times 3 times 3. It's a negative 27. And the next, 6, negative 6 times negative 2 times negative 15. Well, I'm going to add, but the result of all the multiplication, let's see, is positive 12, and then positive 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. Okay? And then now we are moving to the right to left diagonals, and I'm going to subtract. Subtract the product of negative 3 times negative 2 times negative 9. That gives you a positive, a positive, a positive 6 times negative 9 is a negative 54. And then subtract 1 times 3 times negative 5. So that's a product of negative 15. And then I'm going to subtract. Oops, subtract. Uh, negative 6 times 4, which is negative 24. Um, negative 24 times 3 is, let's see, negative, uh, sorry, negative 24 times 3 is negative 72, but let me see if I can fix it right here. That's a negative 72. Okay. Phew, let's see. I have negative 36 plus a negative 27, so minus 27 plus a negative 60, so minus 60, minus a negative 54, so plus 54, minus a negative 15, so it's plus 15, and then minus a negative 72, so I'm going to add 72, and I get a positive 18. Okay, so this is how you compute on uh, the determinant of all, um, all these matrix, and then since I'm running out of time, so just please see me. Uh, see the next video to do um, to actually solve for x, y, and z.